What do you uh, like what you see so far in just a couple of weeks or so? I see great enthusiasm. I, great, I see a great collective spirit. Our young guys have really bonded together. They care, they're passionate, they've worked extremely hard individually and collectively. Uh, Dan Collins was in our gym the other day and he made a statement. He said, this is the loudest this gym has ever been since I've been around Wake Forest basketball. The enthusiasm is very contagious. And obviously the, a lot of times this game gets overanalyzed, but shooting the ball, you gotta shoot the ball well. And, and you're uh, the kid from Robert Morris, you, you really like him. Is he gonna, how much is he gonna help you put the ball in the basket more? Well, anybody who has seen us practice to date will see that Karan Williams can really shoot the basketball. He was a 42% career three-point shooter, a very frequent three-point shooter. He has great range. He's on the smaller side and he's learned to shoot it quick. He comes off those screens or he gets any kind of airspace, airspace whatsoever, the ball's going up and he has a good chance to go in. And that creates great spacing for your offense. How much more this year when you're getting ready to tip off at a game, especially in the ACC, do you, will you look around and go, I like my chances better this, this, this year than, than maybe uh, last year when you get ready to tip off? I'll tell you what. Ask anybody, uh, ask my players, uh, anybody who's been around me, I am very confident, I'm very relaxed. I feel really good about where we're headed, and especially with this group. Um, practices are fun for everyone. We're really looking forward to this season ahead. We know it's going to be very challenging, but we, we like our chances. You're still young, but is there a guy that's, that's taken leadership, uh, Travis, probably, that, that people, when he talks, people listen? Well, Karan is 23 years old, and uh, uh, so he, he's very secure in who he is. Uh, he's played in a, a lot of high-level games and had success. Couple that with Travis, yes, and his experience, but all of our freshmen, we're not going to have captains this year. The whole team is a captain. Everybody's involved in leadership. Everybody is going to do it their own way within their personality, but everybody has to contribute. You know, Coach, you couldn't have asked more of Ben Thomas last year. You know, what are you expecting him to develop this year to take his game to that next level? Well, he's worked a, uh, really hard on, on just a little bit of a face-up game to complement his great driving game. Uh, he's, he's, he's stronger. Uh, he's worked really hard at the free throw line because he's going to be a frequent free throw guy. Uh, he learned a lot with USA Basketball for the few days he was out in Colorado Springs with that team. Uh, he's gotten stronger. Um, you know, there's no substitute for experience with all our young players. They've all grown up in a great way. They understand the game. They're different now than they were a year ago and in a, in a very positive way. You know, just going to that, you know, you're, you're seven freshmen thrown into the fire last year. How did that year under their belt you know, help them for this year's upcoming season? Well, again, all you have to do is look at all the great talents uh, over the years, uh, especially in this area, and, and look at their numbers. When they were a freshman, what were they compared to their sophomore year, compared to their junior year, and then compared to their senior year? Obviously, uh, the game's a lot different at this level than when they were in high school. They've experienced that now. They understand that now. They, ex they know what's expected of them. 